Okay, we're back again for a high school romance. We're going to continue where we left off. Uh, it has been a little bit while, but uh, we'll, we'll uh, start off this. You know, we'll see, we'll see how this uh, this guy's uh, um, high school experience uh, works out for him. We'll see how his cross-dressing days and possible is the name says romance with the girls goes. And what girl he ends up with. We'll see what decisions we make. All right, let's start this up. All right. Hmm. 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 We got some hmm. What happened yesterday? I wonder what time it is. I, uh, I didn't set an alarm. Oh, no. Ugh. Shoji. Oh, no. That's one way to wake up in the morning. I should probably get up now, though I've never gotten ready as a girl before. You probably just have to, you know, do what you usually do and probably try to act, make sure you don't have any facial hair. That's probably one thing. <laughs> try to make sure you look girlish if you're trying to pull it off. Plus, I didn't even unpack last night. One hour later. The first day at a new school is usually bad enough. I guess I've kind of gotten used to them. Always transferring in in the middle of the year. But now it's a whole new kind of worry. Looking at myself in the mirror, wearing a girl's uniform, I'm feeling all of yesterday's anxiety all over again. If I actually wanted to cross-dress, this would almost be exciting. But I don't. I'm a guy through and through. It's really freaking me out. I can't imagine living like this all the time. Can I really pull this off? Well, I have to. I don't have a choice. I just need to put my mind to it. And then I look down at my legs and come to the sudden realization that they look like a lumberjacks. <laughs> oh my. <clears throat> I can only imagine. Are you saying they look like a lumberjack's legs? So you're saying they're hairy? You know, when I think of a lumberjack, I think this this, this muscular dude is stronger. 100% man. But you don't look like 100% man to me. You look pretty feminine. Even before they try to make you look like a girl. Uh-oh. Do I need to shave them? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, girls shave their legs all the time. Some more time later. <laughs> it would have thought that shaving your legs would be so long and difficult. I guess that it would be. I mean, also, I don't think girls have to worry as much. You know, men, they uh, have more testosterone and everything. The body hair grows more. All over more. And you're still younger, so I don't think you have to worry as much as someone who would be older trying to look like a female. They'd probably have to do it all the time. It looks like I got mauled by a rabid badger. <laughs> oh well, I need to hurry and get to class and stop worrying about this. It's a good thing I woke up early this morning. I think this is the pass through the grounds that Selena showed me yesterday. There are girls already walking to class, all dressed in their uniforms, so I think I'm going in the right way. It's weird thinking about myself as being one of them. Oh shit, man. Hopefully you don't get attracted or turned on by one of them, and then you get a boner in class and it starts peeking out of your skirt. That would be terrible, man. Then you would be found out for sure, and then everyone would probably go, Ah! My stomach is twisting itself in knots the closer I get to the classroom. So nervous, aren't you? That everyone in the class would be like, oh shit, it's a guy. Some of the girls are looking at me. Before, I probably would have leaped at the chance to talk to a girl. But now that I don't have any other choice, it's just nerve-wracking. Phew, I managed to hurry by them. This is the room that Selena showed me yesterday. Sh shoot. My feet just rose. Where do I sit? Are there assigned seats? Selena told me she wouldn't be in my class, and I don't know anyone else. Some of the girls are already seated, twisted around in their seats, talking to each other, giggling. They're starting to notice me. I should have waited outside the classroom. Ah, there you are! What? Oh, this must be the teacher. Soji, yes? It's an honor to meet you. Welcome to our class. If you don't mind standing here for a few moments, we'll let everyone get settled. After that, I'll let you introduce yourself to the class. 
Well, here goes. It's only a few sentences about myself. I'm used to the first introductions, but I still hate talking in front of people. Especially a bunch of girls I don't even know while wearing a skirt. Most of the girls are already in their seats, and now almost all of them are staring at me. Of course, they're gonna staring at you. You're going up there. <clears throat> they have to. The teacher's about to talk, and you're going to have to introduce yourself. Stage fright. Please just let me sit down. This year we have a new student joining us. Go on, introduce yourself. Um, hello. I'm Shoji. Speaking softly helped hide my voice, but maybe I spoke a little too softly. When I glanced up from the floor, several of the girls were leaning forward in their seats. Maybe they couldn't hear me very well. Wait, did someone just go aw? Thank you, Shoji. We'll make sure you fit right in. Please, have a seat. The third row, there by the window. A window seat? Not bad, but probably not good either. It's difficult to focus now that the class has actually started. I can go, I can go through the m motions, but my mind keeps drifting. Girls are usually playful and flirty with each other, aren't they? What if one of them pulls up my skirt? Oh shit! I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, you guys are in high school, aren't you? I don't think girls are would be doing weird shit like that. But then again, I don't know. I'm not a girl. I don't know what girls do in there, in a location that's just all girls. Who knows what the hell they do? If they pulled up his skirt, they'd be like, she he's got testicles and a penis. Look at that huge lump in his pants. And his underwear. I mean, wait, he must have to wear special underwear, you know, fit all that all this junk in there. Unless he has, unless he has a tiny one. What would even happen if I if I got found out? I can't keep thinking like this. I really need to focus. Is class over already? I hope the teacher didn't notice I was spacing out too badly. There are some other girls looking at me. Hopefully if I just keep looking through my bag and stall long enough, they'll lose interest. For now, I just want to get through the first day in one piece. Good. I think they're gone. Oof! Oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh crap, I didn't even see her, and I bumped right into her. How did she move so quietly? I hope my hands didn't go anywhere inappropriate. Yes, fine, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention, and... Don't worry about it. It's really nothing. I'm Hoshi, class representative. Oh, maybe that's why she seems a little stiff. She sits close to the front, so I notice her well giving my introduction. That and the fact that she's one of the prettiest girls in the class. Eh, if that's your taste. Ah, as the class representative, I'm tasked with making sure you have everything you need. Please don't hesitate to call on me if you need anything. Oh, thank you. I know I already gave an introduction, but I'm Shoji. It's a pleasure, Shoji. One of our primary goals is to excel and be the most academically successful class of our grade. I think you'll make a good contribution to our efforts. Uh, that sounds like a lot of weight is being put on my shoulders. Um, what was that noise? That's the warning bell for the end of the period. After that, we only have two minutes to get to the next class. Two minutes? We have gym next. Do you know where it is? No, I'm afraid I don't. Celentia didn't show me the gym yesterday. Of course, she probably assumed I'd just follow my class. You should come with me then. You don't want to be late now, do you? I'd, I'd just hold you back. I don't want to get you in trouble. Don't worry. I'm sure they believe me if I told them why. Just as long as we don't make a habit out of it. Of course not. She may speak a little formally, but I had the feeling that she really wanted to help me out. Oh no. We're already at the gym and I just remembered. I'm not even supposed to have gym today. Miss Rowan said something about us going shopping. It's not like I'm looking forward to it or anything, but I don't want to offend her. 
here we are. Oh, she's already there, Miss Rowan is. Ah, good morning, Miss Rowan. So she's the gym teacher? She did say something about your second period class and her. Good morning, Hoshi. Were you showing Shoji around? Yes, indeed I was. You're not teaching class today? No, not today. Shoji and I actually have some more forms to fill out. I see. I hope it goes well. Thank you for showing me around, Hoshi. Of course. I'll see you in class. Have a good day, Miss Rowan. And goodbye, Shoji. Come on. Let's sneak out the back. She's the principal. Does she really have to sneak around like this? So this is where the girls at the school must go to shop. So how are you liking the school so far? I, uh, I don't know. Enjoying being a girl? <laughs> he's only been a girl for a day. And I don't, I don't think he's, would have gotten all of the, what it is to be a girl yet. I mean, it's not like he's in an actual girl's body. He's just acting like a girl. It hasn't been so bad, I guess. It's only been a couple hours, and nothing catastrophic has happened yet. Haha, <laughs> see? Isn't it easier once you just stop worrying about it? I never said I wasn't worried. You look very cute in that uniform, you know? Like you were practically born to wear it. But I really wasn't. Oh, says who? If it looks good on you, I say, wear it. And that certainly does look good on you. Uh, I think I might be blushing. That makes it even worse. Is it normal to get this many compliments from your principal? I'm going to take you to some of my favorite shops. This would be good practice for you, I hope. Once you make some acquaintances, some of the girls might ask you to go shopping with them. Now you can have a more educated opinion about style and fashion for girls. Well, it's definitely an education of some kind. Here we are. How about something like this? It's not so bad. See, it's basically a normal show. But it falls off one shoulder a little. Girlish, but simple. Oh, this is a cute pattern, don't you think? You'd look good in a bit of lace as well. How many of these are we buying? You'll have to try all of them on, of course. What? Here? Obviously. How else do you know if it looks good or not? I don't usually bother with dressing rooms. Psst, typical. Come on. We'll go find some skirts and trousers to go with these. Here. Pick some of them out for yourself, and I judge. Great. Another test. Uh, I don't know what to pick out. There are too many options. I should probably go with something safe. How about this white pleated skirt? Good eye. White goes with a lot of things, so it's hard to mess up an outfit with white. Uh, maybe this isn't so hard after all. Well, the Wendell average assignments are huge. She really is into the shopping stuff. It's more tiring than I would have expected, and I think I've lost all sense of time. So far, she's helped me pick out a few trousers, the skirt, and some tops. Having to model them for her was bizarre, to say the least, but it wasn't terrible, and it's probably better that I have some girlish clothes in my dorm. She even bought them for me, which was needless kind of her. A couple of bags of clothes should do you for you now, and I'm really pleased with what we found. Aren't you? Um, sure. Tee <laughs> I think it'll be an acquired taste. Just give it time. Oh my. Now to the next item on our agenda. The underwear store. Underwear? I kind of assume I was still going to wear briefs. Oh shit. Is that what you're wearing under your skirt right now? Briefs? I know there's one nearby. It's just a matter of finding it. Oh, please, no. Hmm, there it is. The sign is gigantic. How could you not know this was here? Come on now, don't be shy. It's a good thing she's dragging me, since I don't think my feet would move on their own. 
The walls are absolutely covered in bras. There are only women here, talking enthusiastically to each other between the aisles. Well, you would expect men to be there? I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, as a guy, I think it would be hard to, to walk into a, a store that just sold women's clothing or women's underwear. Um, for one, you'd be worried that people would be staring at you and think you're some weird pervert. But, I mean, take a little, uh, be a little brave to say, like, I'm here to buy something for my girlfriend or wife or whatever. It would be a little, be like, yes, that's why I'm here. <laughs> but other, other than that, yes, I definitely, even I, I think I'd be like, yeah, that's not somewhere I would feel comfortable. Mainly because I know that none of this stuff would be for me. And it'd be like, yeah, this is for them. And then now I gotta imagine this stuff. <laughs> Try not to imagine it. <laughs> is a guy skirt or no skirt? I get the sense I'm really, really not supposed to be in here. And Miss Rowan doesn't seem to mind, though. Aren't these cute? So lacy. We don't need to buy all that much here. Just pick out some things you like and go try them on. I have to try things on here too? Of course. How else are you going to know if they fit? To be honest, I'm fine with grabbing any... Th Come on, try something off this rack. Those bras are huge. How would I fit into one of those? Well, you could always add some padding. It would definitely give you a little shapeliness. I don't know if I want to go that far. Couldn't we just say that I'm flat-chested? I suppose it might be a little more risky, but it's not unheard of. Yeah, you're, you're, you, your tits, you, I would say go with a little padding, you know, to make them look like you have a little bit. You can still look like you're flat-chested, but you have a little bit of breast there. I would, that's what I would try to go with. If you're trying to pull it off to look more like a girl. You want a little bit. I think these could work. Go on. This dressing room isn't any different from the other one. Uh, this is ridiculous. These are the smallest size cups they have for bras. I guess they're more for preteens than actual women. Ooh, ooh. What about this? Oh my. <laughs> what are you doing in here? So he's, I'm assuming he's, uh, he's tucking it. So that, you know, it's not showing. <laughs> what? What? This is supposed to be private. My principal isn't supposed to see me naked. Uh, you're not... Realistically, you're not 100% naked. You know. Wait. Why am I even covering my chest? I found this black laundry set for special occasions and a sports bra for gym class. Does she even care? Here, try them on. Oh, only if you do first. Hmm. That is... I'm just gonna try them on. What choice do I have? She was kind enough to bring me out here and buy me clothes. Not to mention risking her career so I can attend the school. The least I can do is try on a few articles of clothing. It still looks a little ridiculous on me, especially the lacy black outfit. I didn't know bras had so many wires. It kind of hurts, but I probably have to it too tight. I guess someone else might enjoy it, but I just feel uncomfortable. You probably feel uncomfortable because you're not used to it. Now you, th you think about you know, women they have to wear, they wear bras and you know they're the, the type of panties and stuff that they wear thongs or anything like that uh, in my opinion it would be something you had to, you would have to get used to at the beginning because but they wear it all the time so it's like you kind of get used to something that you always wear I mean it's just like you think about it you know if you're not used to wearing a watch you know it might take some getting used to use you know to wearing it so you just got to keep wearing it and then once you get you know it be kind of becomes part of you you're like oh you kind of forget you have it for the most part unless it's irritating or something starts irritating you or something like that. I mean, the same with probably jewelry. If you're used to wearing a necklace, you probably kind of forget that you're wearing a necklace or the piercings. I don't know. I've never had a piercing, so I wouldn't know. Or rings or any of the multitude of things out there. If you wear them all the time, you probably you wouldn't feel awkward. It'd be like, oh, it's just another 
another piece of clothing or accessory. The sports bra is practical at least. I can handle that much. I don't want to seem ungrateful to her, and I can tell she was excited about about the these. I don't think that was supposed to be there. Miss Rowan? Hmm, are you finished? Yes, I tried them both on. I think I'll take the sports bra. Oh, that's a good choice for gym class. I'm glad you liked it. I think it suits you. Well, the new you, at least. Come on, I'll go pay for it. It's a little embarrassing to have the principal buying clothes for me, even if she is young and attractive. But it seems to me seems to make her happy, and I think she enjoyed our trip. I'm glad we arranged these little outings. It's refreshing to get away from the school once in a while. Since we stay there the majority of the time, sometimes we get stuck in our own little world. Not that it's entirely a bad thing, but still. I think I'm going to enjoy it there, even if I can't be myself. Why couldn't you be yourself? You're still you. That doesn't change just because you dress like a girl, does it? I don't know if, it, if it's that simple. If I pretend to be a boy, I don't think I'd feel any, like a different person. I'd still have my same interest in humor, right? You don't have to change that much about you. Even if you like the things people- well, uh, people can- people can like whatever they want. Even your boy clothes don't necessarily mean anything. Kind of skipped a little page there. <laughs> I think that's what Selenia assumes last night. That and that I was a lesbian. Uh -huh. did she really? I'm curious how you answered that one. I told her I wasn't. It's just true, I guess, although it was also kind of a lie. When you think about it, kind of and kind of not, yeah. It, 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 it kind of depends on how you, you think of yourself. If you're acting like a girl, then yes, you like girls, so then yes, kind of it would be a lesbian. But then you're also a guy, so you can't be a lesbian, so yes, it's, it's kind of a lie and not a lie. Well, you'll probably be telling a lot of those this year. I just hope you work well under pressure. And speaking of pressure, you're going to be late if you don't hurry. Lunch is probably almost over. I didn't mean to keep you out this long. Oops. Well, what are you going to do? Send me to the principal? Haha, <laughs> I guess I have to serve detention with you, wouldn't I? Still, we don't want to make a bad impression. Let's grab a rice ball and head back to the school, alright? Sure, thank you for the clothes today. I'll try to pay you back as soon as possible. No need for that. Pay me back by doing well in your class, and try to enjoy yourself this year. The more time passes, the more I get used to what I'm wearing. I was so distracted this morning thinking about the act I'm putting on that I couldn't focus. In the afternoon classes, I'm doing a lot better. I actually managed to take notes during the lecture. And a lot of the time, I found myself thinking about something besides my situation. I don't know if I'll actually get used to dressing like a girl, but at least I won't let it ruin my studies. Hmm, over already? I guess I'll wait to leave again. I don't want to attract too much attention. Huh? What's well, Hoshi still doing here? Is she cleaning up the classroom all by herself? Maybe that part of the class representative duties. Still, cleaning up the room looks like a lot of work. Maybe I should help her. I'm going to leave her be. I don't want a romantic interest to her, so we're just going to leave. I'm assuming if we start getting closer to her, that's what we'll leave down. We're just going to be a jerk. We're going to leave. Oh, she looks like she can handle it. Besides, she might actually be offended if I try to help. I don't want to suggest that she couldn't do her job as class representative. I should probably just go and not make a nuisance of myself. I really don't have anything to do. I don't know anyone well enough to go hang out, so I guess I'll just wander around the school. At least I will, it'll help me get familiar with the layout. I think those girls notice me wandering aimlessly. I don't really want to go back the way, that way and have them stare again, so I guess I'll slip outside. The sun hasn't gone down yet, but it's about to. Maybe I can find a good place to watch it. For all the things that are different about this school, one thing has stayed the same. I haven't made any friends. Maybe the sunset is making me a bit melodramatic. It's only been one day after all, and the girls I've met have been nice to me. I can't 
keep being disappointed about this. I know I'm thinking about it too much. I probably set my expectations way too high. Oh well. Everything looks so orange in this light. One edge of the sky is entirely pink and purple. It's actually quite nice. But it, it's getting cold and the light is starting to fade. I should go back inside. Shoji! Huh? Ah? She just jumped on my back out of nowhere. I nearly fell over. I knew I bumped into you. You're really strong for a girl. I didn't know you could hold me up. And I can't believe she expected to knock me to the ground. You should be more careful. Don't be so worried. I know how to take a scraped knee like a champ. Besides, I'm sure you'd be careful not to actually drop me. Not when you don't give me any warning. Then it was a test of reflexes, and congratulations, you passed! At least she got off of me. What are you up to? Um... Should I really admit that I was wandering around? That's not weird, is it? I was just heading back to my dorm. Ah, that's no fun, come on! You should hang out with me for a bit. You... actually want to? No, I totally suggest doing things I don't want to all the time. All right. <laughs> She's being a little sarcastic right there. Yeah, silly, come on. With how sarcastic you can be, that wouldn't be out of the question. But maybe it was being mel melancholy for no reason. Let's go. We can walk around for a bit. You look so different from when I first saw you yesterday. Do you always dress in boys' clothes when you're not in uniform? Um, well, most of the time. Really? That's pretty neat, you know. It's nice that you can do your own thing. The girls around here can be so cliche. Everyone has their own little group and fits in a certain place. It's stupid if you ask me. Well, that's the case with a lot of schools I've been to. Yeah, that's high school, I guess. You can dress it up with different names, but it's always the same drama. So... How have your class been so far? Well, I haven't really met too many people yet. Not surprising. They're probably waiting around to see what kind of person you are. What kind of person I am. You know, to see which group you're going to fit into? The whole group thing. Oh, which group should I try to fit into? I wouldn't know. I don't bother with all that nonsense. I just talk to whoever I want to talk to. That's right. That's how it should be approached. The whole group thing, well, whatever it is, just it's just stupid. Stupid shit like that. There's no reason for it to be groups. I mean, I understand that, you know, some of the groupings is like, you know, you, not always, but a lot of times is, a lot of times it's people with similar interests, so it kind of makes sense that they would group together. But sometimes some of those groupings can be kind of stupid. If you don't want to be in a group, you shouldn't have to be in a group. Some people try to get into groups because they think they'll be more popular or whatever. If someone has an issue with it, I wouldn't want to be their friend anyway. That really isn't what I would have expected from her, but maybe I was quick to judge. I don't think you should either, but that's your choice, I guess. Maybe you'd like it. No, I don't think I would. I feel the same way. That's probably a good sign, but still, it's pretty tempting to fit in. That's part of what I wanted when I came here. It wasn't so much about making a cliche, though. I just wanted some people to hang out with. Well, I guess there's different ways to fit in, and that's definitely cool with me. But if you do end up running around with one of those gaggles of geeses, I won't hold it against you. You're still okay in my book for now. I'll try to stay that way. It's not like a hit list. You don't have to look so worried. Besides, you'd have to commit some pretty serious offense for me not to like you. What kind of offenses? Wearing mismatched socks offenses or kicking puppies offenses? Oh, she blushes a little bit. Oh, please. I would love it if you, mis if you mismatched your socks. Then I'd get to give you a hard time. <laughs> Thanks. 
Come on, it's a way of showing affection. But yeah, if you kick a puppy, your name won't be on my list anymore. Just on a tombstone. Oh shit, she's gonna kick your ass. And you're gonna die. It was a joke. I think she understands it was a joke. Don't worry. I knew you weren't serious. At least, I hope not. You should never just kick an animal. For no reason. Unless you're defending yourself, there's no reason to just kick animals. Cats, dogs, anything. What, the, what did they do to you? There's no reason to kick them. That's just, that's just mean as hell. Looks like the jury's still out on the socks, though. Anyway, I'm glad I ran into you. Oops. I was so distracted talking, I didn't even pay attention to where we were going. This is your room, right? Yeah, it is. Hmm, you need to make this place look a little more homey, you know. I still haven't really gone around to unpacking everything yet. Ah, I understand. Well, it's getting close to lights out anyway, so we should probably call it a night. I'll see you around, alright? Sure, have a good night. Thanks. Good night. I really wasn't expecting to run into her, but I'm glad I did it. It was right when I needed to. It's relieving to have someone to talk to at school. Usually the teachers like me because I'm new and I have good and have good grades. But it takes longer to warm up to people my age. Like Cel Selena said, everyone already has their own group. Why should they let me in? She doesn't think like that, and I like that about her. Oh, she doesn't seem to really try to fit in either, even if she does want to. I'm tired though. I'd already been walking for a pretty long time, even before I ran into Selenia. I should start getting ready for bed. Maybe I'll run into her again tomorrow. Things are starting to seem normal already. Alright, putting on panties every morning is still strange. They just don't feel right. They're way too thin. It doesn't feel like any protection at all. Well, I, I mean, it's not like it has to protect a penis or anything. <laughs> They're kind of meant to just, you know, cover up that, uh, that little private area down there, for the most part. But besides that, I'm starting to have a comfortable routine now. For the past two days, Hoshi and I have eaten lunch together. Since no one else really talks to Hoshi either, we've sort of buddied up. She's almost always busy, so... Busy, but now she's taken time out to help me. The first morning, I was so distracted. I couldn't focus at all. I missed some pretty important material. It's made following along in the morning class more difficult. When I mentioned it, Hoshi said she would help me review it so I can finish the homework. Thank you for helping with me with this. No problem. Helping you with this is actually a good review for me. I won't have to study as much after class this way. You really do keep busy. I guess so. I always have. Ever since I started school, my parents set very high expectations for me. They were happy when I was made class representative. Did the teachers elect you? Um, oh no, it was voted on by the class. I guess I did used to be somewhat popular. Then all the responsibilities and work caught up with me, and I just didn't have time for my friends anymore. I wouldn't hold it against them that they moved on. Like you said, I am busy very often. It's true that she is, but it doesn't feel like a reason to abandon a friend. I can't help but think that jealous jealousy might have had something to do with it. Regardless, talking about me isn't going to help you succeed in our morning class. Oh, right. Where were we again? Jim has been fun, too. It's the only time the two classes are together, and I'm actually pretty good at it. The weather's been nice, so we were able to have PE outside for the past two days. You know, it would, it would kind of make sense that, you know, you might be a little bit better. I mean, uh, as a male, you are a little more physically... You have a little more muscle mass on you, so, you know, uh, you know, doing sports and other things. You're probably a little bit better than a lot of the others. So, that might be actually one way of you getting popular right there, being good at sports, if you really wanted to go that path. But then you might actually be found out more, because you're going to be in the locker room more often with other girls. Granted, I think I might have stood out a little more than I wanted. That's what I was probably thinking. You probably did a lot better than everyone else. 
you're probably up there and like kicking ass type of thing without really trying. How did you get the ball stuck in a tree? It's not like I meant to do it. I just kicked it and it didn't come back down. Two bass maps rolling won't let it count as a home run. You did make it around the bases. Well, it's not exactly fair since no one can reach it. Can you help me get it down? You can stand on my shoulders. Are you sure? Don't worry, I'm not fragile. Go ahead, I'll boost you up. Hold still. Ouch, both shoulders, not just one. Can you reach the branch? Oh, so she's stepping on one, one of your shoulders? <laughs> that is... How does she keep balancing just on one of your shoulders? Uh, almost. Ow, that's my head you're putting your foot on. Got it. Okay, just climb out and try to shake it free. Surely it can't be stuck that badly. She's gonna fall and they're both gonna fall down and like her boobs are gonna squish your face or something. There it goes. Um, Soji? Um, how do I get down? Oh, that's easy. Just slide down. I'll catch you. What? Are you sure you can do that? I won't drop you. I think it's supposed to... I will not drop you. Or I... Yeah, I am won't drop you. I don't think it's, I don't think it's supposed to... That. I don't think that's what that's supposed to... Alright. Oof. Got her. See? Easy. Ugh. Why is the whole class staring at us? Even Miss Rowan looks surprised. You're a lot stronger than you look, Shoji. I'm surprised you could catch me. I'm a little surprised you trusted me enough to jump. It was nothing, really. Come on. You should get back to the game. The other class is still in the lead. That's what it's been for, like, for most of the week. I'm used to adapting quickly to a new school, and I think I pretty much got this down. Even with all the new odd changes. Before I know it, the girls are already chatting and excitedly about the upcoming weekend. This week really did fly by. Mer, morning already? You know what? Since it's morning in the, in the day and well the week kind of has passed by, um, I think this will be a good enough uh, place as any to uh, in, to stop off. We'll see what continues happen with his, his school adventure. His cross-dressing adventure. <laughs> Of trying to be a girl. So yes, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment if you want, like, um, subscribe if you want, and uh, we'll see you again in the next episode of High School Romance. We'll see what happens to Sochi, and maybe he ends up having a romance with somebody. Maybe some of these girls will actually find out, and they will be turned on that he's actually a guy. Who knows? We'll see. Again, thank you, and you guys have a great day.